Hey guys, James here, back with another video, and today I finally got around to doing this video. Um, it's kind of been a few weeks um, since I wanted to do this one, but I've been sick and a lot of stuff has come up, but we're finally here. This is the Corin Design Click Pack Pro Anti-Theft Backpack. So what happened is I reached out to these guys, you know, while they were doing the campaign, and they said, yeah, we'll, we'll send you a video to do a review on. So thank you, uh, Corin Design, and thank you for your patience, just, um, you know, putting up with me and my sickness and everything. But we're finally here, so let's get straight into it. So I've kind of learned uh, from my previous Bobby backpack video. So I've come up with this kind of score sheet in order how to score this backpack. So this is my little score sheet, so I'll show you. We'll start with exterior design, followed by the straps, the strap quality, exterior, rear exterior features, interior features, space management, comfort, anti-theft security, weight, pricing, if there's any perks, deal breakers, and when would I use this, so flexibility, um, who is this for, and then my final conclusion, and it's out of 100. So now in terms of what makes a really good um, backpack for me is these four things, space management, comfort, overall quality, and versatility, and, and usefulness. So how, how uh, flexible is its use? So let's just go through this. Um, I'm gonna do it in a way that's very um, kind of intuitive and just kind of discovering the backpack for the first time. So um, yeah, this is how I do videos. And um, by the way, whatever I say in this video, um, you have your decision, right? This is my opinion. This is the way that I like to use my backpacks. This is the things that I look, like to look for, but that may be something different for you. So that's completely fine. Um, don't feel that, that my opinion is, is what you have to have, okay? So just, just having that disclosure out there. So this came in a, in a, in a cardboard box similar to the uh, Bobby. Um, came in this uh, wrapping. So let's just take this out. Okay, so it's got the Corin Design logo as you can see there. I'm, I'm primarily probably gonna just be using this camera on the top. Um, just so that you have a better view, but when sometimes I might switch back and forth to get that kind of side profile. This is uh, some package in here. It says intelligence is future. Let's just open this up. I'll try not to destroy it at the same time. You get a warranty card. <clears throat> so you just got to fill this out. This is for Kickstarter only. Um, in-store purchases have different policies. So if you do have it, if you have bought a Kickstarter version, then note that you do actually have warranty and you can check all those different reasons for returns and all that stuff. You also get a quick start guide. Uh, maybe you can pause this, I won't go through all of it. And uh, there's that about Corin. These are some of the features, the package contents. So it actually comes with quite a bit of stuff inside, which is why I liked it and why I reached out to these guys to, to, to send me one to do a review. And there's how to set up all the passwords for the locks and everything. Um, okay, we'll skip all this. Um, maybe we'll come back to it. Get this nice tag. So this is like, I think this is the exact same material that's at the front. Yep, that's correct. Uh, so they give you a nice sample there. All right, so this is the backpack itself. Not that big, what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more fatter, but this is good. I actually really like this. Um, I was expecting way fatter than this, but it's not actually that wide. All right, so let's just start with our, with our checklist and then kind of go through it. Okay, exterior design. Just overall impressions, I can say that it's, it's really well built. It's really high quality. This handle is really, really nice. I think it's really well built. There is a flex in it, but it's very uh, sturdy and rigid, which is really good for carrying. Now, I love this, how They've got the zip here, but it's it's kind of part of the backpack, right? It's not a separate protruding thing out, but it's just flush with it, which is really, really nice. They have the USB charger um, on the inside, which is great, not on the outside, so it doesn't get wet. But I like how, you know, this is just part of that, and, and this pocket, you know, goes through this entire section, so that's cool. You have one side, which features a card holder, and this is for like, you know, USB or, or whatever, or even, um, you know, just cards, you know, and has a zip. I love that, that's fantastic. You 100% know it's not gonna fall out. And they have another slot here, so you can put like, you could even put a card there or a cable or even some pens if you wanna do that. So of course you've got the zips which um, lock to this, so default the code is uh, zero, zero. So if we just lock these, there you go and then you just press the button and then unlocks. Um, it's TSA compatible, so if they do ever need to unlock that, um, they can do that. 
Okay, and then to set the code, all you do is there's just a little, I don't know if you can see that, just press this button in, set the code that you want it to, and then that's the new code. So we'll just leave this at triple zero for now. There is some flex on the top and the bottom here, and I believe these are, this is reflective material. So this logo is, this kind of circular thing is reflective, as well as these four uh, wings on the side. Um, overall, apart from that, the straps, this is like a waterproof material. Um, the inside is a, is a mesh, so that's not so much waterproof, but this will be against your back anyway. Um, but the outside does look completely waterproof. It's on the same material all on the, around the outside. So this side and this side is all the same material. And also there is this, which is like a bungee cord. And this allows you to, for example, um, if you have a chair, let's just say this is like a chair, and then you hook it, you can just lock it and this bag isn't going anywhere or like, like a public park bench or something and then you just unlock it. And so this lives in this compartment. Now to put it back, I guess would be a little bit, oh, it's actually not that difficult. So you just shove that in there. So this lives in here. And also if you pull this part out, it becomes an improvised water bottle or umbrella holder. And this is what this is for. So once you put it in, you hook that across and that, that's not going anywhere. So that, that's really handy, that's really cool. And then you just uh, kind of scrunch this up and just put it onto the side, try to even it out as much as possible and just zip it up. And you can see also this USB cable coming into here to this port and you can see it's braided as well in a green color. In, in terms of the overall external design, I think it's pretty good. Um, I, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. So on my scoring sheet, four and a half. Next is the straps. So these strapped qualities, I think it's great. It's not the cheap kind of seat belt material, which I was finding in other backpacks. It's smooth, but it's also stiff enough. The kind of buckle areas look good quality as well. It doesn't look cheap. It looks like it will last. The stitching looks also pretty good as well. From my initial perspective, of course I can't give a kind of a lengthy review, but from my initial perspective, I'm gonna give this another uh, four and a half. I think four and a half is a very generous mark. I don't want to give a five, just unless it's truly amazing, fantastic. As an initial assessment, I don't want to be too generous, you know, as an initial assessment. Rear exterior features, you have physical locks, um, like a built-in physical lock, which I think is great because on other backpacks, you know, they can hide the, the, hide the zip, but, um, you know, sometimes it's a bit inconvenient to take out. But this just ensures that even if they get behind that, no one can unlock it unless they got the passcode. The other exterior features, so the reflective material on the side and the fact that it's not too thick um, initially. So I think that's, that's pretty good. Um, at the bottom is the same material. So yeah, I think I'll give again, if I was t I'm, I'm feeling generous because I'm, I'm having really good first impressions about this. And I just discovered another zip. <laughs> so I'm just discovering things everywhere. So there's also this bit. Um, this is for your keys. So you just uh, press this button, take your keys out. And when you don't want it, um, just shove it inside here. And then it's actually, you can actually put something else in there. So like it fits that much on my hand. So there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of room there. Do they have one on the other side? No, they don't have one on the other side. Okay, I think exterior features, it's got a lot of stuff um, and it's got a lot of great ideas. And so I think I'm gonna give it another four and a half. Okay, interior features, so time to open it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a 180 degree open it up just to see what we get. Okay, seems like we get quite a bit of stuff here. Okay, so you get these pouches. Uh, this is for like, they're, they're suggesting you can put like toiletries. So this one has like a mesh material on one side. You know, you can put some toiletries in here, whatever it is. Um, and you can put some like toothbrushes or whatever you want in here as well. Um, you can uh, also, oh, I guess you can hang it up. That's what it's for. So you can just like hang it up like this against the wall. And that's that's really cool. That's really good for travel. Like that's, that's really nice. Um, it has Velcro at the back as well. On this one, you have uh, an accessories for digital accessories. Okay. In here, what do you get? So kind of similar, similar thing. You can also just hang it up as well. Um, you have a mesh thing. So you usually put some, like for example, you have SD cards or, or small, smaller kind of accessories. And it's pretty much the same as well, but this is a little bit smaller. Yep, and then there's a carabiner inside. Again, Velcro at the back. You have this, which is a luggage tag. 
Now, I did ask Corin Design, um, do all of these accessories come with the retail version? And they assured me that everything in here is from the retail version. So um, I know that certain backpacks, you get certain perks for Kickstarter, but um, besides that warranty card, um, this is all right in from the thing, no extra perks um, for retail. So you get a, lug a luggage tag. So let's just, uh, let's just open this up. So it has your standard, you know, your name, address, phone number, email. All right, uh, do not put your valuable things inside check-in baggage. Uh, happy flight to your dream city. So let's just, let's just try to put that there. Just for the sake of the demonstration. There we go. There's your luggage tag like that. Okay, so that's really cool that they've included that. Um, that's like, you know, it's all these nice little touches that they include. You have this, uh, it's RFID. So this material apparently blocks RFID uh, signals. So what you do is you just stick your wallet or, you know, whatever it is inside here and you just fold it up, you know, and that way you're guaranteed that no one can get into your credit card or, or your phone or whatever it is. Next, a raincoat, which is awesome. Okay, so it's kind of just like a, a shell. So I'll just quickly demonstrate this now. So just Corin Design logo on top. So just like that. So this is your kind of raincoat design. Um, you can still have the handle, you can still, you know, wear it as well, which is really easy, but obviously you can't really access it. So if you know, like, for example, if you cycle um, and you know it's going to be drenching wet, then this is going to be great because you can just chuck this on. You're not going to be accessing it while, you, while you're cycling. And you know that this bag is going to be 100% dry when you get home. So that's really, really awesome. And that comes with the bag retail version, not Kickstarter perk according to what Corin Design has told me. So put this aside, let's just put this in here again. Okay, and then it has this little uh, kind of uh, lobster claw is what they call it. Lobster claw. Um, so you can kind of hook this somewhere. Let's just do a walkthrough of the interior features. So you've got these two uh, felt kind of fabric uh, pockets. You can put some stuff here. You also have a bottom pouch for sticking whatever you want. There's also this zip where you can stick some pens or some, you know, small documentation. There's also a pocket here, um, some pen, pen pockets as well. So this is the Velcro um, area where you stick your, uh, your stuff. So it goes like that. On this side, this is your, it says, has that battery logo. So this is where uh, the USB cable comes out and it's fully braided and I love how it's a different color. So you can see that it feeds through um, this hole and then it goes into here. Um, it's just a standard USB cable and then you stick your power bank in there, hook it up and you're good to go. So that's really awesome. You have um, a 15.6 inch maximum laptop size as well as a 10 inch maximum for the, for the tablet compartment. Um, you just lift this up and this is a really nice like a really nice fabric. Like this is super, super soft. That's like just as soft as like a laptop sleeve that you would buy. This is the normal inside is the same, but th this, your laptop is going to be really well protected with that. And then you got the Velcro here. Not sure why they have all the way over here, but anyway, in, in terms of interior features, I think the features are pretty good. Like the cable that's dedicated. I love that fabric. That's a really nice, and there's plenty of pockets and it does come with these two, two awesome pouches. So I'm gonna give it maybe a four. I think there are some things like maybe um, they could have done pockets maybe a little bit more on the top here or something like that. Um, and I reckon, you know, this seems to crumple a lot. So maybe just some reinforcement at the bottom, but I, I, get, I get it how they wanted it to be flexible. But yeah, I'm gonna give it maybe a four, you know, just a four. Okay, space management. So in order to do space management, we have to load this thing up. This is my existing uh, backpack. It's very heavy, full of stuff, all right? So I'm gonna show you what's in this. So as you can see, traditionally, I like to have many pockets. That's my style. 
I guess it's nothing too fancy, but there's a lot of tech in here. Now, given, okay, I already hear the comments, I already hear them screaming all over the place, okay? Why do I need two, two, two uh, power banks? Well, sometimes, you know, I wanna charge two devices. It only has one, so I have an iPod as well. Or if, I've had many people ask to borrow, you know, a portable charger as well. So I've got the uh, Xiaomi Mi Bank too, as well. This one's really cool because it detects charge. So this is probably the one I'm gonna be sticking in. I have a Chewy laptop um, and I use this for when I don't wanna use my massive laptop. So that's that. Of course, I've got my Bible and I usually have my notebook along with that. I've got a few documents which I don't wanna crush. That's why it's in a folder. I've got my laptop and I've got a few accessories in here. So the goal is to try to load it up now, I know people are saying you don't need everything, but I'm gonna try load it what I use right now anyway, okay? And see how I go. All right, so let's just put the laptop in there. Okay, that's done. Next, let's put the um, iPad. So the iPad is what I use more. All right, this is another problem which I encountered with the Bobby. It doesn't fit with the sleeve on it. Now, given that iPad, iPads are smaller nowadays and I'm, I'm old for using this iPad, now it 100% will fit, I'm hoping, without the sleeve. Yeah, 100% will fit without the sleeve. If you're using an old generation iPad, this is gonna be an issue for you, especially if you have a sleeve on it. If you don't, then you don't really need to worry about this. If you've got like a small tablet um, or anything, you know, that it's gonna fit fine. So I think I was a bit unfair to the to the Bobby because I know this, the, this is the really old stuff. Just, I'm just gonna take the sleeve out just for the sake of the demonstration. Um, but yeah, if you do have if you do have an older tablet, this might be an issue for you. But let's just put this in here, okay? Okay, let's hook this up. All right, that'll do. Okay, um, that's pretty tight fit. All right, so that's done, that's done. Let's close it up, okay? So I definitely won't be able to fit um, this extra, you know, in there. I could probably fit this folder in here. Yep, that, that fits pretty easily. Um, it definitely fits the thickness. That's okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's get into the tech side. So I'm just gonna use this toiletry bag as, as well as a, as a tech bag as well. So I don't use these all that often, so this can probably live there. Same with this USB cable. This is probably what I use more often, so... I'm hoping this works as a portable hard drive slot. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just keep it like this. Okay, digital accessories. Probably won't be using this, um, but it is a feature that comes with it, so that's really cool. Let's put that there. Just can go here. So that goes there, um, and I think I'll just stick uh, the Bible and the notebook at the bottom, like so. Just like that. Um, so remember my earphones uh, and stuff are down there. So I'm gonna close this up and then I'm just gonna put the gum at a very convenient spot in the back here. Okay, and then the drink bottle has to go somewhere because you gotta, gotta have that water. And I'm just gonna stick it on the side. Oh, it just fits. Would you look at that? Okay, so it does fit and using this strap to hook it around like that. This is what I usually carry in my backpack, but I usually carry some things in my pocket as well. So usually uh, wallet, keys, phone, and iPod, and maybe an umbrella. So in this case, you might be able to swap out the umbrella uh, for the uh, drink bottle. Um, in that situation, depends. I guess if you go to work, you know, water's always gonna be available at work, so you would just swap that out with the, with the umbrella. But let's just say uh, you take public transport a lot, uh, you can put a Mikey or your public transport card, okay? So let's just say that. So let's just look at the back. You can put it in this slot here. Um, it's not gonna come out anytime soon because it's, you know, gravity is the opposite way. Or you could also, um, you know, put it here as well. Um, but let's just say I wanted to uh, reserve that for like, a, let's say a charging cable. So let's just put here, let's actually get my charging cable. Pretty uh, big cable, so. Okay, now I usually like to carry these four on me, so 
Umbrella, I'll just leave that aside, but you can substitute it, right? This is my fully loaded ClickPack Pro. Um, and if I wanted to lock it, just lock it like so. For space management, I think it's done well. Everything looks neat, everything looks clean. There's a space for everything. You know, I feel like the, the laptop space is, is big enough, but it's not too big. And so you can fit, you know, like a folder or something in there. Now let's say you didn't want to use these and you wanted to fit, you know, more books. Then I could definitely fit this uh, tablet in here and then fit this in here and it would still, you know, close up because there's still, you know, you can see, you can see in this camera, there's still a, a bit of that gap. You know, and so this is, this compacts it a lot, which is really good, so you're not wasting space. Um, and if you don't want to carry the raincoat, you can take that out and put something else in there as well. Um, it fitted everything that I needed it to fit. Uh, there probably is more space, and you can definitely utilize this in a better way that I definitely did. So it, it does a really good job of, of util utilizing most of the space, and I think it's good. I think they did well. It, it's kind of the inclusion of these. These is what really sells it. Because when I when I saw this on the ad, I was like, this is such a smart idea. Like, why hasn't anyone else come up with this? Um, if you did look, I did a review of the BUBMs. Um, they're kind of like mini tech bags. Um, it's kind of like the same concept here. You know, you're, you're putting more kind of loose items into bags where that, that you can just shove it inside and forget about it. I'm gonna give this um, a good four out of five. To do comfort, we gotta wear this thing. Now, to give you an idea of how heavy this is, I've got to weigh it for you. That's the weight, about six kilos. That's excluding water, so the, the bottle doesn't actually have water inside. Okay, so let's just wear this and see how it feels. So let's just adjust the straps. It feels good, like, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing six kilograms worth of stuff. That's pretty good. So that's what it looks like, side profile. That's what it looks like on this side profile. This is what it looks like the back. I can't see, obviously. Um, but it's not bad. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the weight actually feels really nice. Okay, let's just try to do a reenactment. So if I was getting public transport, it's a little bit hard to take out, but you just tap it on and then just find it, put it inside, push it all the way down, and that's secure. If I wanted to charge my phone, so I just take take this out, find it. I can't remember. Is it this side? It's this side. And the cool thing is that the USB is facing outwards. So all you have to do is just clip it and try to do this while walking. Okay. I guess once you do it a few times, it should be all right. And then plug my phone in and it's charging, you can see that there. So that's really, really cool. Um, so it is hard to push this one in, I will admit. You can use a shorter cable. Um, mine's a little bit long, mine's like a one point something. Um, but you can use a shorter one just for the sake of it. I know mine's a little bit long. And even as a big size guy like me, you know, you can kind of see how the backpack fits. And I think it'll work for generally everybody. I mean, like the guy in the video, um, where Corian actually advertised it. I think it was, it was, it was a normal build guy, so. But it works for big guys like me, so that's really, really nice. So in terms of comfort, I'll give it pretty high. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm just gonna give it a five. I think it deserves a five. The comfort was really, really nice. You couldn't really feel the weight at all. Okay, anti-theft. All right, so obviously it gets really good marks because it has locks built in. You change that, no one's gonna get into your bag at all. Um, the only thing they can get to is this side pocket, as well as maybe this back bit, and maybe what you've got in your straps, and of course, you know, your bottle or whatever, but they're not gonna be able to get through anything else. Um, and in addition, you can just add this. There we go, okay. And then this just attaches onto whatever it is, like a pole or something, and they're not gonna be able to take that away either. You might be able to rip it out. I don't wanna try it, but um, if anything, all of this is deterrent because it is stopping people from, you know, seeing, oh, I can easily get this, you know? So it's just more that one extra step. So you can do that. Now, in terms of how durable is this thing, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna do a test, which they advertised, um, and that is to slash this and show that the paper is scratching, but this isn't scratching. Okay, this is, this is a bag which I am gonna keep and I'm gonna be using, but I feel like it's my kind of duty to do this. All right, so let's try. 
okay? That's directly like, that would cut my skin. Just doing that will cut my, like. I'm really like going at it. Wow, that's really good. It's like, no lines at all. That is good. This is really good. Like proven right there. Like, like you try find a mark, like a slash mark through that, like, it's not there, you can't find it. I'm not sure about the top though. Uh, just gently, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna ruin it. But general, general knife marks, like you don't see any marks on that. Of course the plastic will scratch if I do that. This is the same material. The underside will definitely, definitely scratch. I mean, it is mesh, so I don't wanna do too hard. But this would be a bit against your back anyway, but this can take a knife like that. The um, the reflective markings. Oh, they do. These do scratch. Okay, but I'm guessing the underneath side is a little bit more durable, so it won't puncture through. I hope. I think it's better that they've got the locks on there. Now, given that you know anyone who does have access to a TSA TSA security lock can open this, most pickpocketers won't be able to do that uh, while on a public transport. I mean, most people will notice, you know, so. So for anti-theft and security, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. I mean, it does well with the locks. I think that's great. You can set your own combination. All this outer material, that's all scratch resistance. Wait, I actually probably should have done this at the start of the video. Um, it's cause it's gonna mean that I have to take everything out. Okay, so let's just take everything out quickly. According to the thing, this weighs 1.2 kilograms. Okay, 1.2 kilograms. So I think that's fair, 1.2 kilograms, given that, you know, it has all this anti-theft features, I think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. All right, so just a uh, quickly note, I've actually added back the, the iPad sleeve. I've put uh, my Anchor Power Core Plus in the back here as well. Okay, pricing. So the next, the next big thing, how much does this cost? This costs 198 US dollars, um, which roughly equates to about 250 Australian dollars, which is, I'll be honest, a little bit expensive for a backpack. But if, if you think that this is gonna be lasting you a really long time, and if you're gonna be using it all the time, then I think it's worth it. If you're not fully satisfied with what you've got here and the features, then you might have to reconsider getting something else. But in terms of the features and all that stuff, if you like it, then $250 Australian or 200 US is pretty good. Now, so you can actually currently get it as the day of making this video, which is the 18th of August. You can actually get this for 35% off roughly for 129 US dollars. So, and so that roughly equates to about 160 Australian dollars. So that saves you quite a bit, almost $100 Australian. So. Um, if you do want to get that, get it off Indiegogo. You can get it from their website, but it's going to cost you the full 198 US dollars. So don't bother about it. You go straight to Indiegogo, and then you can order this as well. So, so is it worth it? So I'm just going to talk US dollars. So for 129 US dollars, it's actually uh, quite worth it. 160 Australian. I think it's I think it's worth. Um, the moment it gets to 200 US dollars, that's when things get a little bit tricky because. For 250 Australian dollars, that is very expensive for a backpack uh, for in Australian standards. So um, if you if you can get it on sale, get it right now because it's most worth it. The moment it gets for full retail, it does get a little bit pricey. Um, but if you've got the money to spend, then that obviously this is an issue for you. But if you are on a tight budget, but you really, really want this backpack, then you might have to consider getting it really, really early. Or, you know, if, if you miss it, then wait for a sale or something to come on. Um, so I think for pricing, um, I'm gonna say it's a little on the expensive side, but you also have to consider that it is really high quality. It's fully scratch resistant, has a lot of features. It's really well, like that padding um, for the laptop alone, that's gonna cost you money. Like, like this, 
it's it's the same padding that's found in my my laptop sleeve it's almost the same thing and so i bought this laptop sleeve for 30 30 australian dollars so that alone it's like you got a laptop sleeve inside and so all these features just do add up to the cost so i'm going to give it a three and a half just because it is at full price just a little bit too pricey um and so that yeah i mean that that's that's what it is but it is you kind of get what you pay for in this situation you pay for a 200 dollar a, a US backpack, you're gonna get a $200 US backpack. You know, that's what it is. Um, the four the four things that, that I look for in a backpack. First thing, and this is in orders. First thing, space management. I think they really solve space management by including these. Without these, space management would be a question mark. But, you know, you can fit all your loose items, you know, like, this is all from my previous laptop sleeve. So I lose a sleeve, but I gain the storage space. So I think that's, I think it's justified. And it has Velcro so it sticks where it's supposed to be. It's not kind of free roaming. There's plenty of pockets on the sides. The only thing is that, you know, it, it probably could be a bit better, I reckon, if, I, I'm, this is just my opinion, but I reckon they should have shaped this so that it was hot like a plastic, because I'm not a big fan of, of this kind of crumpling every time under its own weight. Like, I actually prefer it if it was stiff, therefore this can kind of keep its shape all the time, and, and this can stay here. Sometimes, you know, it just keeps, kind of falling out like that. That's my only real complaint. Yeah, in, in, in terms of comfort, I think it's great. It, it fits really well on my back personally. Um, it, it, if it doesn't feel like six kilograms, even though it is, and if I added another kilo, I probably wouldn't notice that much difference. Um, the overall quality, I think it's fantastic. That laptop sleeve, I just can't get over how good it is. Even the USB cable is braided. That 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 anti-cut at, at on on the front side, you know, it all and, and all around on the straps, you know, that's really high quality stuff. So that's what you're paying for. Um, and versatility and use. And this kind of fits with my next section of when would I use this? So pretty much in what situations can I use this and how versatile is it? So as a day-to-day -day backpack, I'm actually gonna try this out. So for two weeks, um, I'm gonna force myself to use this backpack all the time. With all this current stuff that I use, I may take out the rain one because I drive, so I don't need it. But, you know, I'm just gonna try it and see how it works, um, whether it fits my kind of way of using backpacks. I mean, traditionally, as I said, you know, I've always used um, this style of backpack. So, you know, does this new one fit what I wanna do? So that's one thing. So I think it, it, it can work. I think it does have the potential, but I'm gonna have to try it out first. So that's one thing. Would I take it on um, when I'm going overseas for traveling? 100% because this anti-theft, um, I would definitely use it and you can fit so much stuff inside. Like obviously um, I may not be bringing, you know, uh, maybe my tablet, I won't bring that. I won't bring as many earphones. Um, uh, maybe I might actually put proper toiletries in here. You know, I think it does have the potential. Um, now, it obviously can't fit as much as this backpack. 100%, it won't fit as much as that I normally fit in here when I go traveling. But the fact that it's anti-theft and it's comfortable and it has this space management stuff, like I can fit charges in here as well. So I know that it works slash proof and it won't leave a mark. Would I use this for office work? So if I know I need to carry a laptop, carry a few things, maybe a drink bottle, maybe my lunch or something. Usually I wouldn't be carrying something like this. Um, any notebook can fit at the back here. So you can fit a charger in here or you usually have one at work, um, you know, lunch or maybe a few documents in here. Yeah, could easily do that. Would I use this as a school backpack? Oh, probably not. Um, just because you wanna fit a lot of stuff. So let's just say nowadays schools, they have laptops, tablets, so that fits there. If you don't have any accessories, then then maybe you could fit, you know, quite a few books. I mean, like, you look at the depth, you know, that's my hand. So you could maybe fit a few textbooks if you take this out, um, cause this would, um, this would just, you know, fold flat. Maybe you could, if you've got a few textbooks and stuff, but if you've got a lot, probably not. I don't think it's a good use of the bag, to be honest. Um, I did say to one of my, uh, someone who commented on the Bobby, if, if, if theft is a big thing for you in your area and you walk to school or you take public transport to school and theft is a big issue, then yeah, maybe you wanna consider this. That, but that means you won't be able to carry as many books um, or textbooks or stuff like that. The only worry is that with these type of backpacks, you don't fit much volume. Even with a backpack like this, um, I can only fit so many textbooks in this. So, um, you know, usually the bigger school bags that you buy from the actual school, or what we do in Australia anyway, 
those are probably going to suit better for a school bag. Uh, but if you live in a country where theft is an issue, then this might be a good thing for you. What else? If you cycle to work, definitely you've got that rain cover, you've got the reflective stuff at the back, you know, so this is definitely um, quite versatile, I reckon. Um, but for an everyday use, for my use, I'm gonna have to try that out. So I think it's pretty versatile, so let's give it a four out of five. So a lot of my scores have been fours, so I think I've been quite impressed with this. So overall, this scored a total score of 85 out of 100. So it's pretty good. That's a HD uh, considered in, in university terms, um, but it's still not perfect. So in terms of areas of improvement, I reckon, you know, as I said, definitely, you can see that I don't really not like that slouch. So just reinforcing this maybe with just, even a, just a little bit stiffer kind of material, especially for the bottom of it. Um, other improvements, um, the Velcro is a little bit not, it's not that sticky. I will mention that, I didn't mention that beforehand. Um, other improvements, I think, um, I don't know if it's possible, but for a tablet to that area to be winded, just to support, you know, that the, the olden, you know, the olden tablets. It can definitely fit my, um, it can definitely fit, oh, it can't even fit my Chewy tablet. It can fit it this way. Um, I guess it's good that they've made allowance to fit it the other way. Um, but you know, just a little bit wider. I don't know if that's possible with the stitching and all that. Maybe they could have extended this stitching out just a little bit more, but it is what it is, so that's that's okay. I can still store it this way. I think generally, yeah, there's not much to improve on, um, but no backpack is ever perfect. So um, there's always gonna be people who, who look at this video and love it. There's always gonna be people who look at this video and not like this backpack at all, or not even like my opinion on it. But, it is what it is. Maybe this this uh, section be just a little bit bigger. Um, that might have been really good to have, or the zip, you know, go up to the edge. Um, that that could have been a, a good thing to do as well. Maybe just like to the end, just a little bit more, just so you can fit something bigger like this cable that I have here. Um, the charger is good. No complaints about that. So I think overall, it, it's a very good backpack. Who is who is this for? Um, as all those people I mentioned. Um, school, probably not, um, but if theft is an issue, definitely. Um, if you're traveling, this is a great backpack to use. Um, you can fit, you know, all these different things um, in the side pockets, in this back pocket as well, which I didn't really use as much. You know, you can fit an umbrella water bottle on the side, and that's gonna fit quite securely in there. You got the lock there, so security is a great thing. If you're on a, like a day-to-day -day kind of thing, um, if you're going to, if you're an office type person, you're going to work, I think this is also a great backpack because um, you're walking a lot with it as, as well as traveling and you don't really feel it. And plus you know that, you know, if, if you ever need to go on public transport, you're on the train and you're on the tram and people are right up against, you know that they're not going to be able to open it because that lock is secure. And so that's another great thing about this backpack and you've got the reflective stuff. So if you cycle as well, it's great. So look out for another uh, few more videos so about this backpack. I'm going to be doing a two to four week, uh, depending you know whether I feel like I need more time with it, uh, review on on just whether how I like it as a day to day everyday backpack um, for me. Um, I'm also going to do a comparison with the Bali backpack because I know a lot of people will actually want that as well. So I'm going to compare it side by side, much like I did with the Riot R15, and just go through you know the, these score sheet features and say which one is the best for, for this that particular um, one. Um, I'm also gonna, yeah, maybe just do another video as a very quick kind of five minute, three minute review video. Um, so leave a comment, thumbs up if you want that down there as well. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this has been the Click Pack Pro by uh, Corin Design. Um, I really hope you liked it. Uh, definitely leave a comment down below of what you think about this backpack. We get it. Um, if you have any questions, for sure leave it down there. Share it with people who you think will like this backpack. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Like it if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Um, as I said, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything at all and I'll try getting around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Again, I, as I said, these are just purely my opinion. You don't have to follow or listen to what I say, um, but this is just what I think about this backpack um, just by looking at it and, and alerting it up for the first time. Subscribe to see more videos like this one and the ones coming up with this backpack, and I will see you guys in the next one.